All candidates participating in the forum were asked the same questions and were given the same amount of time to respond. This video was filmed by QAC TV and the questions were selected by editor Angela Price from Reader Suggestions. I'm Nicole Romeo reporting for the Bay Times and Record Observer. I'm here with Mark Anderson who's a Republic Commission candidate for District 4. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, you're welcome. In two minutes or less, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you want to be a county commissioner. Uh, my wife and I bought our home on South Kent Island two decades ago. Uh, we are both retired. Uh, I have 30 years of business experience in human resources, government relations, uh, and community relations. I uh, was past uh, president of the uh, West County Chamber of Commerce. I was the chairman of the P Anne Arundel County Pension Oversight Commission and the chairman of the personnel board. So there's a confluence of both business and uh, civic uh, service. Uh, I, I'm running because uh, the local government should be the most responsive, uh, <clears throat> particularly a commissioner form, because that embodies both the uh, legislative and executive uh, responsibilities of government. So if commissioners understand the will of the people, they have uh, the power uh, and the wherewithal to do for the people. Uh, and that's not happening now, and that's why I'm running. Thank you. In two minutes or less, explain what you believe are the biggest issues facing the county. Well, uh, I'm from the South Kent Island, and there is a fairly substantial uh, controversy uh, regarding the sewer system. Uh, that is clearly uh, one of the major issues. Uh, I also uh, believe that uh, Common Core uh, there are a lot of uh, people, parents, PTAs, uh, who are unhappy with that one-size-fits-all system in the schools. Uh, we have a budget, a capital budget, that took 200 years to get to $100 million, and the budget that uh, a majority of these commissioners uh, is putting together is likely to double that uh, take it to 200 million with within one year. Um, the debt service uh, is almost 11 million dollars a year to double it seems a, a, an extravagance and what I plan to do is use my business background to be sure that when we spend money whether it be for operations or for capital that it's done wisely. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the proposed Four Seasons development? Uh, if there could be a classic example of how to do things wrong, it would be Four Seasons. Um, that system is uh, the negotiations uh, that were carried on. Uh, first of all, it was born uh, uh, from a vote of three uh, lame duck commissioners. Uh, and it's been a struggle ever since. It currently sits as uh, uh, a wetlands permit away from going into phase one, but there will be other, th other phases. I will see to it that any further negotiation, the people will get a much better deal. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the public sewer for Southern Kent Island? Uh, my major concern uh, is that this is a tough question and a very tough issue. Have we picked the right system? I know Olympia, Washington had 1,515 step systems. In 2007, they put a moratorium on the development of any further step systems because the operation cost and maintenance cost for a system, a step system, exceeded the cost to actually put it in. Uh, that a moratorium on new systems still exists. They put uh, houses infill on there and they have to do it because the costs to run it uh, are bankrupting them. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on a public pool for the county and the YMCA project? Well, I, I think uh, I would have preferred uh, to, to partner with uh, one or two of the fitness centers, uh, Club One, uh, Again, we get back to business negotiation. The uh, memorandum of understanding for our uh, YMCA deal 
is the most lopsided deal I've ever seen. Talbot County YMCA is very rich. It, it's very well resourced. Um, I found it interesting that in this current uh, environment, uh, this commission, at least four of the five, uh, cut school security and technology to get the money to fund a YMCA that's going to compete with private business. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the new parking permit required to access public beaches at county parks, commonly being called the beach permit? Well, I know there's a lot of uh, legal uh, uh, obstacles to giving preferential treatment to locals, but I'm going to tell you, such a thing uh, has caused a furor. People are very upset that they pay high taxes and they can't use the public beaches that they believe they support, they have supported. Um, even, uh, and people don't trust the government to use the money to actually clean the beaches. Uh, I am going to be on one of those beaches up at Terrapin Park tomorrow with Kristen Cook and her group, and we clean the beaches. Uh, why can't uh, the county use uh, its wherewithal to get behind volunteers to do this and not charge? Thank you. In one minute or less, please describe your plan for achieving the county's stated goal of controlling growth while promoting economic development. Well, I think uh, that all stems from a, uh, a wisely put together comprehensive plan. Uh, I think that there are numerous ideas that uh, can be incorporated to one, follow the comp plan, and two, uh, encourage uh, business. A number of the things that need to happen, you need to have the people, uh, the employees, the trained workforce in the works in order to attract any major employer. Uh, I've been a part of a group that's, uh, that provides a scholarship for vocational education. Uh, everyone touts college educations. Uh, this is important, but people that work with their hands are also extremely important to get things done. Uh, I would uh, certainly pursue that. Thank you. Finally, in one minute or less, would you like to revisit any of the issues we've discussed or add anything we've missed talking about? Uh, I, I, I guess I would like to say that uh, the thought process that goes through people's minds to eliminate uh, a budget request, a capital budget request for the schools technology and security upgrade in order to find money to fund a YMCA that competes with other private businesses, I cannot understand and you'll never see a decision like that come from me. Thank you and thank you for participating in Th our forum. Thank, thank you very much, Nicole. Appreciate it. To watch other candidates who have appeared in the series, please go to either the QAC TV YouTube channel or visit myeasternshoremd.com. Thank you for watching.